Hey everyone, welcome back to the Irish Bears show. We are in the middle of our free agency frenzy over here. And today I'm taking a closer look at Anthony Walker Jr. With Jack Sanborn being the only linebacker on a contract for the Bears, Matt Eberflus is still on his hunt for his also important three technique, the foundation of his defense. Um, Anthony Walker Jr. might not be the perfect player um, or the perfect fit for that, but I think that it could he could be a really attractive signing for Ryan Poles in terms of a business perspective. Uh, in week three last season with the Cleveland Browns, he suffered a torn quadricep tendon. Um, Dr. Google tells me that it's a significant injury, but with proper surgical repair and rehab, a player can expect to return to the game. Um, so what did he do prior to that? Well, in 2021, he was with the Cleveland Browns. Um, he recorded through 13 games, 113 total, total tackles, 69 of them solo, one sack. So if you look at that in comparison to, say, Nicholas Morrow, uh, through 17 games last season with the Bears, he recorded 116 total tackles, uh, 69 of them solo, and one interception. So in terms of talent and ability, you're looking um, at a very lateral move here. So I think that the contract and the kind of deal you can sign him to is, is where it makes the difference. Um, Ryan Poles has obviously everything to prove, but he has shown that he's a pretty shrewd businessman and if he can sign players to a one-year prove-it deal, um, he's going to do that over a you know two, three-year contract. Um, I think that Nicholas Morrow coming off this, this year, he might be looking to increase his salary, or he might be looking to sign a two-year deal. Um, you know, if, if looking at this entire rebuild for the Chicago Bears, if you think of last season as the teardown, the destruction. Uh, this season, we're laying the foundation, but, you know, we are not one position, two position, even five, six positions away from being a Super Bowl caliber team. Now, God willing, that situation is going to be very different next off season and next free agency. So uh, I think Ryan Poles wants to have as much flexibility as possible going into next season. Um, so Walker last season, he signed a one-year extension with the Browns, including his base salary and the bonus. It was a little under $5 million. Uh, Morrow last season with the Bears, including his base salary and bonus, it was a little over $4 million. So, you know, if you look at signing uh, Walker Jr. for a one-year deal, considering his injury, even, you know, at four, between four and four and a half million, um, we still have a ton of cap left. And also, more importantly, we have that flexibility of next season, of the next offseason. Um, and also to note, he played with the Colts from 2017 to 2020. And of course, Matt Eberflus was the defensive coordinator there from 2018 to 2021. Um, and then he also was coached by Dave Borgonzi at the Colts, who currently is the linebackers coach for the Chicago Bears. Um, and in his best year, um, 2019, with the Colts, through 16 games, he recorded 124 total tackles, 84 solo, and two and a half sacks. Um, so, you know, you're, you're looking at a player who has rapport with the coaches, uh, who would come in and immediately know the system, has played the system um, with success before, and also gives you the flexibility of um, just a one year prove it deal. Um, you know, the one thing of caution or the one thing that we wouldn't want this to turn, turn into is another Larry Ogunjobi situation. Of course, we signed him uh, last free agency. He didn't pass the physical. And then we were kind of, Ryan Poles was left backpedaling, looking to fill that position. Um, so that's obviously something to keep on your radar too. Um, you know, there's there's a lot to consider here. I think that it's a he's he's a player that is I'm sure is on Ryan Poles' radar, of course, <laughs> um, uh, as are all players. And uh, but I'm curious, what do you guys think? You know, is is this play somebody that you would like to see the Bears sign? Um, do you think that his injury is just a little bit too risky? Do you think that it would be a good business decision? Um, we want to hear it. Let us know in the comments. Uh, and we are coming at you with a ton more contact for, 
content for free agency and uh, the draft coming up. So keep watching Irish Bears show. And as always, bear down.